Elizabeth St. Hilaire Nelson has always wanted to be an artist. She says that painting takes her back to that freedom of being that child again, and when you see her paper paintings, as she calls them, that freedom is ever-present. I'm happy to have Elizabeth St. Hilaire Nelson, local artist, with me today. Welcome. Thank you. So tell me about the medium that you use to make your art. Well, the medium is uh, torn paper. And when I first started doing collage, I used purchased papers that I got at art supply stores. And I found out rather quickly that they faded in the sunlight because you couldn't um, determine what uh, pigments or dyes were used to color them. Mm. So I started hand painting my own collage papers a couple of years into experimenting with the process. And now I hand paint all the papers with acrylics. And then I tear them up and glue them down onto a underneath painting or an underpainting, as I call it, which is my, uh, my color sketch on wood. Wow. OK, so you get the paper. Mm -hmm. And what type of paper do you use? I use a lot of rice paper because it absorbs the color all the way through. And that way, when you tear it, you don't have a white edge. And I use a lot of paper that have uh, patterns or textures. Uh, so I still do buy papers at the art supply store. It's just that I paint them myself and yeah. create all the colors I need. So, Do you know what colors you're going to use before you rip the paper? Um, that's a really good question. No, I don't paint the papers for each painting because it's like an all-day event to uh, take out the paints and spread out a big table. So I make um, myself a, a paper palette, if you will. Okay. And I have uh, clear drawers of every color um, in my studio, and I just make myself a full supply, and then I'll draw from that for as long as I can until I run out of something, and then I start over. Now, what is it that inspires you, and what is it that inspired you to pick this medium? Well, I, I have a degree in fine art uh, from Syracuse University, and I've been in Orlando for about 17 years, and there are a lot of really talented artists in town. And so I was painting with acrylic and using soft pastels, and there was a lot of competition, and it was really hard to stand out. So I... Um, experimented with adding paper into acrylic paintings and then wondered what it would be like if I just eliminated the paint altogether and created the whole thing out of collage. Yeah. And I did that and my piece won best of show at Oval when we wow. had Oval. Yeah, yeah. And then I knew I was onto something, especially since they put me in the category of painting, which I thought was pretty cool. So um, then I really you know, pursued it and um, enhanced it and got better at it and changed my technique. So when I look back at that piece that won Best of Show, um, it's uh, the detail in it is uh, really minimal compared to what I do now. Wow. So. And what was that spark of inspiration? Was it when you were younger, as a, a kid in school? For or the collage? Just for anything, just for, for you being an artist, period. Oh, yeah. It's probably because it was the only thing I ever excelled at. <laughs> I mean, I'm not good at math, and um, I was always good at art ever since I was a kid, like in elementary school. My, our art teacher would hang the uh, art in the walls of the hallway that she liked the best, and my stuff was always out there. So, nice. You know, when you get, you know, um, accolades for something you're good at, it just makes you want to do it more. So, and then I had a fantastic art teacher in high school. My high school art teacher is the sole person that encouraged me to go to college for art. Are you still in touch with her today? Yes, I am. I email her still today. I just wrote out her Christmas card this morning. Um, my parents weren't really keen on me going to college for art. They were nervous about how I was going to support myself, but she was, she photographed my whole portfolio back in the days of slide film, um, had it developed, put it all together for me, and told me that it's not all about fine art because my uh, degree is in advertising design. So I'm a graphic artist all day, and then I paint. Um, at night and early in the morning and on the weekends. So, so when you say you're a graphic artist, is that something like um, like for websites and stuff like that? or? Well, I don't. my husband and I work together, and um, he does websites. I don't do as much web design. I do mostly printed material. I do um, ads, flyers, magazine, editorial design. Um, I do all the marketing materials for RDV Sports Flex. Okay. I don't know if I can say that. Can I say that? Of course you can. <laughs> That's great. That's yes, wonderful. Yes, I do. And they have six clubs in Michigan, so okay. I do all the materials for the Michigan locations as well. Wonderful. And up until a couple of months ago, I did, um, I did the layout and design of Orlando Magic Magazine for okay. 11 years every month. So, but they don't they don't produce the magazine anymore. I gotcha. Yeah, so. I think there's like a digital something. There was a do. digital version. We went digital for a couple of months, and then they determined that people weren't really looking at it. So I, gotcha. I guess it became a budgetary issue. And the website, you know, web really took on a lot of their information that they wanted to, to give to the public. So. Yeah.
Yeah. So I guess they're driving traffic to the website. Well, good stuff. Now, I know that we can see some of your work at um, some local area hotels. Well, I'm in the Grand Bohemian Gallery at the Grand Bohemian Hotel, and I'm a, a gallery artist there, so my work is always there. And um, also in their location and celebration. Wow. And that would be it locally, with the exception of a juried show or something going on at a, a Maitland Art Center or something like that. Yeah, but you... um, I'm also with Grand Bohemian in Asheville, North Carolina, and Savannah, Georgia, and Taos, New Mexico. Perfect. Well, you've got some amazing, amazing work here, and uh, we can't wait to uh, see more of it. Thank you. Thanks well, for I'm being here. Well, I'm always working. So. Yeah. No, <laughs> thanks for being here today. Thank you very much, Corey. To see more of Elizabeth's art, go to paperpaintings.com.